Hey, welcome to another episode of NRVTA Influenced, and I'm here with some popular influencers. This is going to be Tanya and Dave, and they are with Turn It Up and Let's Turn It Up World, correct? You got it. Turn It Up World and Let's Turn It Up World. Thank you guys for being here. Now, typically on the episodes, what we do is a lot of our um, uh, followers kind of watch us and kind of, you know, learn from me. What we want to do is have you guys give some tips and tricks and some ideas of what's going on in your own world. So you guys drive a Class C, little Winnebago. Mm -hmm. What type of Winnebago? What's the model? It's a Winnebago Echo. So it's Echo. really kind of a B plus, but there's no category for it. Gotcha. So, yeah. so my understanding with this, I get a lot of questions about you know some non-traditional toilets, and I know nothing about them uh, because I like water. You guys have a cassette. Can you kind of just talk a little bit about that? I know it's it's somewhat of a crappy conversation, but it, it needs to be had. It's pretty crappy. Okay. Yeah, it's cassette toilet, like you said. It's five gallons. So if you're used to a large black tank, it's definitely not a lar large space at all. But it's just a, basically, you, it slides right out, so it's portable. You can mm -hmm. dump it really uh, at any bathroom, which makes it very convenient if you're off and there's an outhouse or something. You can take it out, dump your portable black, black tank effectively. Now, yeah. is there a bag inside? What's the line? No, it just goes right in, uh, just like a, just like a regular container. Just but it's five gallons, you can just slide it out, right. slide it back in. So it's a traditional toilet that's there in your bathroom. It's just the tank is connected to it versus your traditional. Gotcha. You know? So it's great. It actually works really well. Oh wow, well, that's not as crappy as I thought it would be. It's yeah. not. It really is. It, it works really effectively when you're at a. Uh, campsite or wherever where there's only one dump station. Right, and you, you don't need a honey them. pot, you, you just don't. take your yeah, cassette you just, with you. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. It's kind of like your carry-on luggage. Yeah, it's a carry-on toilet suitcase we call it. Toilet That's suitcase. Right. <laughs> Taking the suitcase out. <laughs> right, it's full of clothes. Yeah. That's right. And dirty clothes. All right, so since we're talking about that, let's go ahead and move over to a couple things. And that, of course, you guys are B+, plus, and you do a lot of boondocking. Okay, now, get your opinion. Smaller, better? Larger, better, size of RV. Here you guys are boondocking. You have an RV. Is it designed for boondocking? It, it, our RV definitely is, and it's 23 feet, so it is definitely on the shorter side. It's on a transit chassis. Okay. Right, so it's effectively uh, kind of van-like, but like you said, a B plus. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit larger for us, and we like the smaller size to get a little bit off-road to some places. It's all-wheel drive as well. Right. It gives us more flexibility. Right. So you want when you want those destinations or those locations where you would need something that small to get to to really you can get view. into more destinations, right. tighter mm -hmm. areas, everything. Um, so tell me, how do you guys do it? So and how long? So when you guys boondock, you know, for a lot of people who may be looking at doing that, you know, what's your schedule? What's that like? And you say, all right, we know with this particular RV, we can do this for three days, five days, 10 days. Kind of walk us through that. Well, we've, we've tested it. Um, actually, we were in Dixie Hills, Utah, in the snow. And uh, on we- On purpose? On purpose. Well, purpose. hence why our RV's name is Desert Snow. He's got that, because we like the snow, we like the heat, little mixture. But we've tested it um, in the snow. We ran the heat uh, consistently for about seven and a half days. And this, this particular model has, with the propane, it's just two 10-pound propane tanks, so the five and a half gallons that you'd see in your, your grills, but makes it easy for us to swap them out. But with that, because we don't have a black tank, all the components are inside, so it's really a fully winterized, you know, um, keep, it has a lot all of, seasons. exactly, exactly. all seasons, it's truly. Insulated all, I mean, there's thick insulation all around, all the tanks are inside, yeah, which so is one of the things that really attracted us as well. Yeah, so we've run the heat with the insulation, had it on for about seven and a half days, and after seven and a half days, we still had a quarter left in one tank and a full one in the other. So we know, right. you know, as we were learning more and more that we can go longer, um, and as we're testing more of things, uh, even here, we, we do realize we can go um, much longer and feel more comfortable doing it, so. What's, what's, what's here? Just, just for us, um, you know, as we're traveling, we're, you know, we're boondocking. We're gotcha. kind of like enjoying the, the aspect of the boondocking life and a little bit more, oops, <laughs> a little longer. Not here, but anywhere, you know. Exactly. <laughs> And we can extend, I mean, we obviously we have the five gallon cassette, so that yeah. can be a limiting factor, but what we'll do, we'll set up a tent mm -hmm. as well and uh, use that in kind of an outhouse facility. Right, it's my glamp, it's my glamp exactly. potty my glamp yeah. potty So it's not for everyone, but for us, it works great. Yes. I'm just wondering how you pack that down. Oh, well, it makes a perfect gift. Right. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> That's where the baggies come in, huh? 
that's, that's where they come in. Okay, I see. All right, so you got. We talked about the vehicle. We talked about you know um, being in cold weather. Let's talk about say food prep or you know preparation for that. You're going to go off. You're boondocking. So many days. What do you guys do? Yeah, I, I do a lot of the shopping. I do like to cook. Um, so I'll, I'll try to you know mix up between the canned goods, the things that you know you can go a little bit longer with. Um, Versus we have a pretty decent sized refrigerator for such a small space, but we also have an external that we can turn into a freezer. Gotcha. So it allows us to be able to uh, think about our, our meals. Um, I wouldn't say I prepping, I haven't prepped yet. Yeah, well, come on over, right. I got some catfish for you. Exactly, and we like to grill as well, mm -hmm. so we'll definitely grill some items when we're out there. Right, so, so inside, do you, do you tend to cook outside the RV a little bit more, oh. especially oh, yeah. in the summer? Oh, big time. Almost yeah, all the time. Uh, all the heat gets trapped inside. Huh? Big time. All right. Big time. Well, what are some quick tips that we could just throw, just some rapid fire, some quick tips that we can throw to maybe uh, some viewers who are thinking about either RVing, boondocking, maybe going with the B plus, whatever it may be. Just some things. Hey, this is what we've learned. Here's a good tip. Okay. I think the first thing is really know your rig. Yep. Right, because every rig is going to be different. Our, our rig obviously is really designed uh, for getting, you know off rig, unplug, that kind of thing as well. Um, but not every rig is designed that way. So definitely know your rig, know what you're capable of, and just try to reduce use of energy mm -hmm. as well, right? If you don't know, you know, make sure you know the, the weather forecast. And if it's not too hot, don't run the air conditioner, because that really sucks a lot of energy. And keep your windows open, the fan on. Yeah, gotcha. know what your lifestyle will be. You know, if you are definitely one of those that can live in a confined space for extensive amounts of time with your right. significant other and you know that it's it's a very important point because when you're with someone um, 24 7 in such a small space you got to really love that person you right, got to really love in the driveway before you go anywhere oh you see how long you, you, right. do, it. you right. do right, right. if you have time to take your shoes off put your head on yes you. before you come in <laughs> shoes must come off before you come in i got the in i got the slippers for the inside there the sneakers go. must yeah. stay outside and then i do have a container, especially if you're in, you know, where scorpions or things can get into your shoes. So I have a container for the sneakers that go in. It's weatherproof, goes under there. House slippers inside. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Any other tips? Um, yeah, I think the the biggest thing um, is for us when it comes to the boondocking is have the essentials you need. Have a compressor if you're going to go off for a long mm -hmm. amount of times. Uh, we tend to have that. Be organized. Organization is definitely the key so you know what you need to bring and what you don't need to bring. We've learned that multiple times where right. we'll leave stuff behind. Trial and error, right? Yep, and you don't have it, so just know and maybe make a list, a checklist to know exactly what you need to bring. I carried a ladder, an extra ladder for two years because I knew I had to get up on the roof and then after a while I was like, yeah. Extra ladder? You are so damn tall. Well, I'm just not tall enough to get up on my roof, oh, so, okay. you know, but I, as a tech I knew I got to get up there. My wife won't let me bring the slides in if we're under you know, uh, any trees because of all the branches and everything else. Right. So, honeydew, boom, Yeah. get up there and clean those off. And I think my final one is just have fun. Just right. know um, wherever you are, whatever you, you plan on doing, just enjoy it, slow down. That was one of our biggest things oh, yeah. too, is we would take things too quickly and we need to slow down to really enjoy uh, the moments because you may miss something, yeah. you know, so slow not down. the journey, not the, not the uh, destination, right? Exactly. All right. Well, Dave, Tanya, I appreciate you coming on here. That's another episode of NRVTA Influenced. We'll see you next time.